Hi children, myself Sumarata, Master Shraf Kakateha Public School. Today I am going to start the revision on divisions. Making groups okay. Division means sharing equally or making groups. And in the parts of divisions, we have children. Dividend. First one is dividend. Dividend means number which is dividing. Which number we are selecting for dividing? That number is called dividend children. Okay. And divisor. Number by which number is dividing? Whatever the dividend number we are selecting, that number we are dividing with uh, dividing with other number. No, that number, nothing but table number, can say as a divisor children. And quotient, the answer of the division means whatever after doing the division we will get answer no here. So that number is called quotient number. And reminder, leftover number after division. After doing the division children, at last um, one something number will remind something number will left over which is undivisible that number is called reminder let's see the example for this here here I am taking example here so dividend number see here I am dividing here 36 by 3 table 36 by 5 table children okay so, which number? Number which is dividing. Which number we are dividing in this? 36 we are dividing. Means this number is called dividend. Means here in this problem, dividend is equals to 36. Okay. So, this number we are selecting to divide. That number is called dividend. And divisor. Divisor means what? Number by which? Number is dividing. By which number is dividing? This 36 by which number we are dividing? By 5 table we are dividing. Okay. The 36 we are dividing by 5 table. Means the by 5 is the divisor of that division. So divisor is equal to 5. Okay. And quotient. Come on. After division we will get the quotient and remainder children. Let's do the division here. So, dividend number we should take into the middle and divisor number to the left side of the sum. And now, in 5 table, when it comes here in 5 table and before doing the division, first you need to check the first, first digit of the dividend and divisor number. So, first digit, first digit of the dividend is smaller than the divisor means we need to divide two digits in the first step. Now here 3 is smaller than the final so we need to divide here 36 in this step. Now let's say that 36 will get in 5 table or not. Here I am writing the table. 5 zeros are 0, 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20, 5 5 is 25, 5 6 is 30, 5 7 is 35, 5 8 is 40. 
So 5 8s are 40 nothing but 40 is a bigger than this 36 no children. So it means the 36 we are not getting in 5 degree. So what we need to do is 36 is not getting here. So the 36 bigger one we need to search. What will be the 36 bigger one? 40 is the bigger than the 36 in this table children. So 40. But we can't subtract 40 from this one because bigger it is. We need to take the before one of the bigger here. Okay. Search the bigger and write the before of it. Okay. Before one is 35 children which comes 5 7 za. Okay. So 5 7 za. 35 we are getting. Now 6 minus 1. So 6 minus 5 1. And 3 minus 3 0. Yes children. Now 6 after we don't have digits to take it down children. If you have the digits to take it down you should continue the division. But here we have completed the digits of dividend number. So stop it. And now you see here what are what is the question here? The answer of the division. Answer of the division means this will be the answer of the division, children. Quotient. This will be the answer of the division means quotient is seven. And next, this leftover number after doing subtraction, at last leftover number. See leftover number after division is called remainder means. Remainder is in this one. One we are getting as a remainder. So this is the dividend divisor quotient remainder. Now let's see the properties of division still. When we divide a number by one, the quotient is the number itself. When we divide a number, any number you take here, I'm taking as a 15 example. So this 15 is dividing by 1. Okay, when you are dividing by 1, see here, 15 divided by 1, 1 15 is a 15. So what we got as the answer here? 15, nothing but quotient. The quotient is the number itself. The same number we got from here. See this number and this number are equal. Means the number itself means same number we will get. When we divide a number by itself, second point, when we divide a number by itself, the quotient is 1. Example, I am taking here, you see children, I am dividing here 17 number by itself, by same number we are dividing children, by 17 itself. So what we will get as a quotient here? 17 we are dividing by 17, 71 is a 17. So 1 I am getting as a quotient. So 1 I am getting here as a quotient. And next, 0 is divided by any number gives a quotient is 0. 0 is divided means 0 when you are dividing here. Example children, 0 when you are dividing by any number. Here I am taking 3. So you will get 0 only means 0 we are taking and 3 table we are taking children. 3 zero is a 0. So 0 I am getting as a quotient. So 0 is a quotient. And the last point, division by 0 is meaningless. Okay. Any number when you are dividing by 0 here. For example here I am taking 17 is dividing by 0. It is meaningless. Okay. It is meaningless. Okay, and dividing by, any number is dividing by 1 means the quotient will be the number itself. Any number is dividing by number itself means the quotient will be the 1. And any number is uh, dividing, 0 is dividing by any number means 0 as a quotient children. And division by 0 means any number is dividing by 0, nothing but it will be the meaningless children. These are the properties of divisions. Yes, next, let's see the next bit children. Multiplication and division facts. The given statement is multiplication facts children. By using this you need to write its division facts. So how we can write the division facts? Here you see division facts. Come on children. Here 5 4 is a 60 sorry. 15 4 is a 60 children. Now, whatever the product number we are getting, that product number, if you are dividing by the first number, then you will get second number as the answer. And whatever the product number, if you are dividing by the second number, you will get first number as a front answer. Come on, let's see here how it is possible here. Now, 60 
is dividing by 15. First number I am dividing. So, I will get the second number as an answer. Same, 60 is dividing by the second number. Then I will get first number as an answer. These are the division facts of given multiplication sentence. And next, write the missing numbers. Now we need to write the missing numbers of this. Quotient, we missed in this problem, quotient here. Come on, let's do the division. Or else, you can write by using the multiplication also. Here you see, it means, in this multiplication facts, if you multiply these two, you'll get this answer. If you multiply these two, you'll get this answer. Same follow here also, children. So, 36 is dividing by 9. And we missed this number, quotient number, nothing but you need to multiply 9 table when it is possible to divide 36. In 9 table when it is possible to divide here, 9 ones are 9, 9 is 18, 9 is 27, 9 fours are 36. We are getting 4 as the answer. So, 4 I am getting here. Means when you are multiplying 9 into 4, you will get again dividend number. Okay, 9 fours are 36. Or 36 when you are dividing by 9, you will get 4 as a quotient. And coming to divisor children. Now, 28 is dividing by something. Then you will get 4 as a quotient. So, how you will get here? Again, already I told you here, if you multiply these two, you will get this number. Okay, this we know and this we know. So, with what number if you multiply, then you will get 28 children. Means in 4 table, when it is possible to get the 28. 4 1 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8, 4 3 is a 12, 4 4 is a 16, 4 5 is a 20, 4 6 is a 24, 4 7s are 28 children. So we need to write here 7. Okay, 4 7s are 28. Or else 28 when you are dividing by the 7 table, you will get 4 as an answer. Coming to this, we need to find the dividend. Dividend means already I told you, you need to multiply these numbers to get the dividend. Here also you follow the same. You need to multiply the uh, dividend, num divisor number and quotient number to get the Dividend. 6 3 is a 18. So 6 3 is a 18 means you need to write the dividend number as a 18. Divide by 10 and 100. We need to divide by 10 and 100 children. Find the quotient and the remainder number. Okay. Without doing the division also we can divide when, um, when the divisor as a 10 or 100. See here. How it is possible here. First one. 35 is divided by 10. So, here we need to write its quotient. Quotient nothing but here. Quotient. And here. Next, we will write remainder. What is the quotient here? Without doing the division children. If here, in 10 we have 1, 0, no children. So, 1, 0 if you have means from last digit, 1 digit will be the remainder. And the other numbers will be the quotient. It means here in this 3 will be the quotient and 5 will be the remainder. It depends on the 0 still. Okay. If you have the 10 nothing but 1 0 means last digit will be the remainder and other numbers will be the quotient. And here also you see here second one. 100. We have 2 zeros still. 2 zeros means last 2 digits will be the remainder and other numbers will be the quotient. Means quotient number will be the 25. And here 0, 9, nothing but 9 will be the remainder. Yes, next we divide and check. We need to divide and check. And one more, one more thing, children. If they are given in heading only division means you need to solve only division. If they are asking to check also, you need to follow the checking formula also which I am going to explain now. Now, first let's do the division of this. 8215. Divided by 7. Now 8215 we are dividing by the 7. Means this number we are dividing. Means this will be the dividend number. This number we are dividing nothing but this will be the dividend number. DD means dividend. And by 7 we are dividing. By which number we are dividing? That number is called as a divisor. Already I told you. So by 7 we are dividing. So it will be the divisor. So, 8215 will be the dividend and 7 will be the divisor. Come on, let's do here. 8215, we are dividing by 7. Let's write the 7 table here first. 7 zeros are 0. 7 ones are 7. 7 twos are 14. 7 threes are 21. 7 fours are 28. 7 fives are 35, 7 6 are 42, 7 7 are 
This is the seven table children. Come on here. Before doing the division by the seven children, once you need to check the digits of the first first digit of the dividend and divide the number children. First digit of the dividend is eight. Is a bigger than the dividend children. Divide the children. So if the first digit is bigger or equal means we need to divide only one digit in the first step. Or else if it is a smaller then you need to take two digits in the first step. Okay. So here bigger means we need to divide for this problem only one digit in the first step means eight. In once you need to check your letter. Once you need to check your A, will you get in seven table or not from top children? Are you getting here? No. Okay. So if not getting means you need to search the bigger of the A. Is it bigger of the A? No. Is it bigger of the A? No. Is it bigger of the A? Yes. It is a bigger of the A children and. It is a bigger of the A, but you need to take the before of that. Bigger means we can't subtract from division means we, uh, subtraction we need to do. But, but 14 we can't subtract. So big, before one we are taking 7 ones are 7. One we are taking as a question children. So 7 ones are 7. Now 8 minus 7 is 1. And next step is if you bring it down in the next step, second step. Before the, beside the, rem, um, beside the, Answer of this 8 minus 7. Now 12. Is it 12 when you get in the table at the top? No. So if not means again you search the bigger and write the before. 12 bigger one is 14 again children. So before one again we are taking here 7 which is 7. Okay. Now again 7 ones are 7. 2 minus 7 is not possible children. So if you take the bar it will be 0 and it will be 12. 12, 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7 nothing but here. 5. Okay. So I am writing here 5 and here 0. Now I am bringing down the next digit which is 1. Okay. 51. Is it 51 is there children in this table at the top? No. Okay. If not that means you search the bigger of this 51 at the from the top. Here 56 is a bigger of the 51 children. But we need to take the before which is 7 7s are 49. 7 7s are 49. Okay, 1 minus 9 is not possible children, take the borrow, it will be 11 and here it will be 4. Now 11 minus 9, 11 minus 9 is 10, 11. 2 will get answer children and 4 minus 4 0. And at last we have the 5 to take down children. It is the, then if you take the down 5, decide this 2, so 25. Is it 25 will you get or not check? No, we are not getting. The bigger one is 28 children. So before 1 we need to take here which is 21. 7 3s are. Here you see 7 3s are. 7 3s are 21. So 5 minus 1 4 and 2 minus 2 0. And we have completed the digits in the dividend number children to take down. Then stop it here. Now what will be the already I told you children this is a dividend here. And this is a divisor. And this will be the quotient children. Answer of the division is quotient also. 1,573 will be the quotient and this will be the remainder leftover number after division. 4 will be the leftover number. So, 4 is the remainder of this. And now, this is completed division children. If in the heading uh, they are asked to divide only means you need to pump, you need to stop up to here. But in this coming to this, divide and check. They are asking to check also. Whatever the, done the division is correct or not, we need to check. So, how we can check this here? Check formula is dividend is equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. This is the check formula children. Now we need to substitute all these numbers from this division children. What is the dividend number in this? Dividend number is 8215. 8215. 15 and divide the number is here 7 children so 7 into quotient is 1173 1173 plus and remainder here let's simplify this side problem children let's simplify this one the simplification answer and the dividend number if equal so the whatever you done the division is correct or else not 
Come on, let's simplify here. First, we will multiply here. 7 into 1173. Here, I am multiplying here. 1173 into 7. 7, 3 is a 21 children. 1 and 2 carry. 7, 7 is a 49. 50, 51. So, 1, 5 as a carry. Now, 7, 1 is a 7. Plus 5 is 12. 1 carry. 7, 1 is a 7. 8. So, we got the product of these two numbers. 8,211. Plus 4. 211 plus 4. 11 plus 4. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So, what the final answer will be? 8215, which is equals to a dividend number 8215. Yes, this both answers became equal or children. So, if you get these two are equal, means whatever you done, the division is correct. If you get here um, different different numbers means maybe you made the mistake in, in this multiplication or addition or else you made the you made maybe you made the mistake in division children. Okay. This is a division and check. Yes, you know, let's do the word sum. There are 4545 4545 books in a library. This many books are there. There are arranged equally on nine shelves. This many books are arranged in 9 shelves equally children. How many books are there on each shelf? They are asking about the each shelf children. In 9 shelves, these many books they are arranged. 4,545 books they are arranged in 9 shelves. And they are asking here to find how many books in one shelf can arrange here. Means, they are arranged in how many books in one shelf they are asking, okay? So, here. Now, what we need to do here? More shelves number we know and we are finding the one shelf number. More we know, one we are finding nothing but we need to divide children here. Come on, let's divide. What numbers? 4,545. You need to divide by 9. Let's do the problem. Now, total number of books. Total how many books are there in the library? Total books in a library. So, 4,545 books in library. And number of shelves. Nine shelves are there, children. Okay. Come on, let's do how many books can I arrange in one shelf. Okay. They are arranged in nine shelves equally, equally children. So, in nine shelf, so number of books this is the required statement. Number of books arranged in one shelf or each shelf. So what we need to do here? Four thousand five hundred and forty-five. You need to divide by. 9 children. Let's do the division here. Here I am doing 4545 by 9 table children. How, how many digits we should divide here? We should divide 2 digits. Why? Because first digit of the dividend is a smaller than the divisor. So we are taking here 2 digits. 45. Is it 45 will come in the 9 table children? Yes. 9 fives are 45. 9 fives are 45. So here 0 and here 0. 5 minus 5, 0, 4 minus 4, 0. Let's bring down the next digit 4. Now, 9, 4 will not come in 9 table children. So, bigger of the 4 is 9, 1 is a 9. But we need to take the before 1, which is 9, 0 is a 0. 9, 0 is a 0. 4 minus 0 is 4. And bring down the next digit, which is 5. Again, 45 children. Again, you will get in 9 table 45, 9, 5 is a. So, 9, 5 is a 45. 0, 0. Over children to bring down the digits. Digits are over in dividend to bring down. So, it is a reminder. So, how many books should arrange? 505 books in one shelf. They should arrange 505 books in one shelf. Yes, children. I hope you understood each and every bit I explained in this revision children from uh, in revision. So, tomorrow I am going to conduct the test on divisions. So, practice well. All the best. Thank you children.